Lindsay. Welcome back to the All Things Good channel and to another video. Well, this is the pre-holiday video part one. I am just on my way to an appointment. Excuse my hair, by the way. I've actually got a hair appointment tomorrow. My pre-holiday hair appointment. So I really couldn't be bothered to do much with my hair this morning. So it is a bit all over the place. I've got a bit of a Claudia Winkleman fringe going on but never mind um, and I'm actually just on my way to go and have my pre-holiday nails done so um, lots of bits and pieces to do I'm super busy I'm now in the last final days of my run-up to my holiday abroad long-awaited holiday I haven't been abroad for four years I'm now a registered carer to my 93 year old mum as some of you will already know and I'm still working as well so life has been rather hectic for one reason and another over the past four years but I am going on holiday and this video I am going to show you my pre-holiday packing tips and tricks what I take on holiday how I pack I have bought some purchases off Amazon that you may be interested in that will help you pack as well so looking forward to showing you those the invisible chef has done another wonderful meal to show you this week we actually had venison over the weekend and you know up until this weekend I have never had venison ever in my life and it was absolutely gorgeous and it was done in a very fruits of the forest kind of sauce which is absolutely gorgeous that's coming up for you very shortly and just lots of bits and pieces really because it's a little bit hectic now it's that pre-holiday rushing around stressy bit I'm not overly stressed I'm more sort of making sure I tick all the boxes of the to-do list and I'm just in the throes of that it's going according to plan pretty much so far um, my main concern is obviously being away from mom for the first time in four years but there's lots of measures in place for her to be looked after while I am gone I'm sure it's all gonna go fine it's gonna be swimmingly perfect I know it is fingers crossed for her it'd be different it'll be different routine for her but my daughter is at home she's got some days off work so she'll be taking her out and about shopping and what have you and I've got another family member that's going to spend a couple of days with her as well so that's all good so let's get into this week's video I hope you enjoy it but this is part one next week you're going to get part two where I'm going to show you and talk to you a little bit about the island that I'm actually going to on holiday because I've been doing a little bit of research and there are apparently some of the most beautiful beaches there and there's at least 10 apparently that are worth really worth visiting and certainly five of those I've really got my eye on and we're going to hire a car while we're on holiday to go and see all these lovely beaches and um, well hopefully it's going to be great so what I'm going to do in next week's video is give you a rundown of the places that I'm hoping to visit while on holiday so that when I come back and you get the holiday vlog which I'm very much looking forward to you seeing um, I'll be able to tell you whether they've lived up to the review expectation etc etc so anyway I'm going to get to my appointment you grab yourselves a cup of tea cup of coffee or something a lot lot stronger and um, <clears throat> which is I'm, how I'm feeling at the moment and let's just get into this week's video I hope you enjoy it
So packing has started in earnest and this is my first stage of packing stroke sorting. First of all, I've got out all the things that I would normally take on holiday, all sorts of bits and pieces. Then I've actually narrowed down what I know I won't take and got rid of those. And then I can make a really good start on the things I definitely do want to take. And as you can see, I've got these little pink packing cubes. I shall show you these in a bit more detail a bit later on, but they are really, really good. They're off Amazon and each one is going to have a different segment of clothing or items in. So I've got one with beach wear and daytime wear. I've got one with t-shirts and shorts and things like that and I've also will have one with my evening wear in as well and as you can see I have done the tumble dryer sheet trick which is once you have packed everything you put a tumble dryer sheet inside and it will keep your clothes smelling fresh if you live out of your suitcase whilst on holiday it will keep your suitcase and your items smelling fresh for the entire time but if you like me tend to take your things out of the suitcase and hang them up you can just keep the tumble dryer sheets in your empty suitcase until you're ready to come home and they'll still smell lovely the next thing i like to do is anything that has a liquid in like suntan lotion moisturizing lotion anything like that i actually put sellotape around the tops of them and then put them into individual plastic bags i'm actually using reusable ones that had sheen products in that I bought and they're really good for bringing your wet stuff home afterwards as well. So I'm making really good progress on the preparation and the start of my packing for my holiday using my ever faithful packing list which I mentioned to you in last week's video so if you would like a copy of this that you can print out yourself if you email me at the email address listed in the description box down below I'll happily send you a sort of a pdf version of this that you can print off at home I just find it really really useful there's things on there that probably you wouldn't need there's things on there that you certainly would need but it's just like a little reminder checklist as you're going through to think oh yeah oh yeah you know so I do use it quite religiously but I tend to pack everything that I think I need then I go through my packing lists and just think oh yeah that would be a good idea and oh gosh I haven't got that and mm, yeah so it is actually really really useful but there's some purchases I've made off Amazon that I want to show you that you see me in the little video as I've started to pack, but I'm going to show you these because they are so, so useful. The first thing I purchased, and these come in a pack of two and they come in different colors as well, are these silicon, they're called sink wire, and they are actually totally waterproof swim bags. So if like me, you don't like leaving your valuables, like your wallet, your purse, and your mobile phone, on the beach while you go for a swim. And I know people do leave their bags with their towels and what have you. I don't feel comfortable doing that. I much prefer to have someone stay on the beach and look after the things and the bags and what have you. Or I use one of these, a waterproof pouch. You can get various ones. You can buy them to go around your neck, but I do find those ones, if you're swimming, seem to get in the way a little bit. But these ones, actually tie around your waist with a little fastener like this, which is very simple to use. They're totally adjustable for all shapes and sizes. And you just undo them like that. And then they have these very clever triple lock seals on the top. So actually quite difficult to open. So if you open them like this, and then you put your valuables inside and it perfectly fits mo a very large mobile phone as well. Mobile phone, you can get your money in there, what have you, any jewellery that you don't want to wear in the pool or the sea. And then you squeeze together these locks and they're triple lock. So there's three lines to pinch together like this. And then you roll that section up really, really tightly. If I can do it with, there we go. And then there's another fold that comes over the top 
and it seals with a Velcro seal and that makes it completely waterproof up to about three metres. So you can happily swim knowing your phone and your valuables are safe and they are with you and you don't have to leave anybody on the beach alone looking after the valuables and the bags. And obviously there's only two of us going on this holiday so we want to be able to swim together. So we've got two, I'm going to have the clear one and then I've got this rather manly black one as well but I think they do them in blue and clear and they do you can have two black or you can have two clear or two blue they're off Amazon I shall link the description down below for you they are really really useful and another thing that I love on holiday especially going in the sea because I love the sea sometimes it can be quite pebbly sometimes you find beaches that have got lots of lovely sand underfoot but sometimes they're quite pebbly or rocky even. And also I'm always a bit nervous of things like jellyfish or things that might sting me. But anyway, these are off Amazon. These are called sea shoes. Aren't they great? And they come in all sorts of different colours, shapes, sizes as well. And actually they're just a very, they've got holes in the bottom. So your feet will still get wet. And obviously these will get wet. But they're like almost like a little trainer shoe totally waterproof but they just protect your toes and your feet from the bottom of the sea and you can go swimming in those they're really really light so they don't feel like you're wearing shoes while you're swimming but again they come in all sorts of different colors shapes and sizes but I find those really really useful in the sea and I actually quite like this color they, these have only arrived today I've tried them on they're perfect I have had something like this before but I haven't bought them for a long long time and then the piece the resistance are these off Amazon and yes I've bought them in pink to match my pink suitcase these are called packing cubes and they are amazing again you can get all colors on Amazon I only got pink just to match my pink suitcase some have mesh so you can see through some are like swim bags with a tie and you get all sorts of different sizes. That's a smaller one. And the one I really like, and I'm going to put my swim shoes in, is this one. This one is to put your shoes in. And I always think that you should have your shoes, whether they're sandals, shoes, what have you, in bags inside your suitcase, because your shoes, even if you've cleaned them before you go on holiday, are actually gonna have some dirt on them and some bacteria, and you don't want them going on your clothes. So I actually bag all the shoes up individually in those. So I've got sandals to pack, I've got a pair of trainers to pack, I've got my sea shoes. So they're absolutely fabulous. And then the other cubes I use for different sections of clothing. So I've got one cube that will be for shorts and t-shirts and beachwear for every day. I've got another cube that's got my bikinis and my swimsuits in. I shall have another one for underwear. And then I will, very last of all, pack my evening wear right at the end because I've got some dresses I'm going to take. So they're hanging up right until the evening before I go awake. The other thing to do as well, if you wish, is to pack your clothes as tightly as possible in each cube. So you might want to roll up your T-shirts, roll up your shorts. I don't do that because I have ironed everything before I go away. So I actually use these packing cubes almost like little suitcases themselves. So I pack as neatly as possible in the cube, my t-shirts and my shorts, and then put the cube in the suitcase and actually it does make them stay quite ironed and nice. So I'm making a really good start in everything. Those are my little tips so far and I need to go through my list and just now check I've got all the finer bits of pieces lots of lots of bits and pieces that I need to take I've also packed here and this will have to be narrowed down a bit this at the moment is quite well it's very heavy but this has got all things in like my cosmetics my sun creams um, toothpaste and everything for the shower so it's got a really heavy shower gel in there a body moisturizer and all those kind of things I've also got clips to put on the towels the beach towels so they don't blow away when they're on your sun lounges but it's really really heavy it's too heavy so I think some of that might be put into Paul's case as well see if we can split it up a little bit 
and I will have to narrow that down because that's too heavy and that's got to get in the case that's going to take up a lot of weight but in terms of clothes and things I do try to pack as lightly as possible and I've kept an eye on the weather it looks like it's going to be beautiful so I won't need really any heavy shoes I'm going to wear trainers to the airport there will be the heaviest shoes that I take with me other than that I've got sea shoes two pairs of flip-flops and three sandal type evening shoe and I think that will be all I need to take so the shoes won't weigh very much at all um so yeah that's what I've done so far feels like I've made progress now it's been a bit of a, a day to day of oh my god am I going to get it all done but yeah I feel like I've made real progress I've even sorted out and hung up the outfit that I'm going to wear to the airport which although the weather's really nice here does consist of a t-shirt and a sweatshirt and trainers so at least then I'm sort of wearing relatively heavy stuff um, and it's also sort of a pair of jeans as well so I'm wearing heavy stuff which means I don't have to go in the case but I can just take the sweatshirt off and tie it around my waist or something when I get there if it's very hot when we get off the plane but it means I've actually got a jumper with me so if we did get a very chilly evening or some rain god forbid um, I've actually got a warmish top to wear while I'm there as well and the other tip I have is if you are not traveling alone and you're traveling with somebody else is to try and split things a little bit between the two if you're taking two suitcases that way again god forbid should you lose a piece of luggage you should have some things to wear in your traveling companion's case so you won't have lost everything and also in my hand luggage I take one bikini one t-shirt one pair of shorts just in case god forbid again the luggage doesn't turn up when you first get there or you've got a day without your luggage at least you've got something you can sit by the pool in when you first get there and another tip is if you're a contact lens wearer like i am now i wear daily contact lenses so i have individual lenses for each day so i wear them throw them away at the end of the day so i have to take my lenses in strips so what I do is I actually take double the amount that I need because I don't take any other solutions or things. So if I open one of my contact lenses, it might it doesn't happen very often, but occasionally you get a faulty one. I'm going to have actually two weeks worth of lenses with me as opposed to one week. So I've got plenty in case one doesn't fit properly or it's hurting me or what have you. But I also put a five day set of lenses in my hand luggage because God forbid again, I lose my suitcase I should lose my sight as well so that's not good plus I will put my reading glasses and my normal glasses that if I would have to wear if I didn't have my contact lenses in they will go in my hand luggage as well but I don't like wearing my glasses very often but they're there if I need to so all in all we're getting there so that's my packing as it stands at the moment there's nothing more I can do now until the, eve the afternoon or evening before I travel and actually, I'm practically ready to go. I can't wait. Well, not only have I been busy this week, but the Invisible Chef has been incredibly busy again this week. And at the weekend, I was treated to a beautiful meal of venison with a fruits of the forest sauce and an amazingly delicious couscous. It was a delicious, spectacular, Moorish, well, it was amazing. I can't even describe it. I will link the description down below for you with the ingredients and the method. Trust me, if you like venison or like me, if you'd never tried it before, try it. It's a must. This was absolutely gorgeous.
beautiful. Oh God. <laughs> oh God, she says. Is there anyone alternative, Mother? I do. Anyway, um, are you looking forward to me going away? No. <laughs> no. In one way, yes. In another way, no. <laughs> well, you're going. I, I shall miss you for a week. Yes, I shall miss you, but I shall ring you every day. And also, when Grace is with you, because she'll have her iPhone. Yes. Um. I'll FaceTime you. Oh, uh, yes. So. We'll chat every day. Yes. Probably. Yeah, absolutely. Bring every day. Grace has got her car, so she's going to take you out shopping. Brilliant. Michael's going to come and visit you. Yes. So, be you'll be living it up while I'm, okay. while I'm gone. We'll, we'll, have, a, we'll, we'll, sit. we'll have a big celebration. <laughs> <laughs> but you've seen how quick the Just weeks go, Mum. I'll be back before you know it. A week is just flying by. Oh, you know. I can't believe it's nearly, it's the end of the week again now. No, but you want to enjoy your week. Oh, yes. You get about home for a and few nice days. Nice rest. Feet up by the pool. I hope so. Yeah. And I looked at my diary today, and we go to Devon four weeks today. Good so it's not long, is it? No. So you'll be having your holiday in four weeks' time. Yes, that'd be nice. I bet you're looking forward to that, aren't you? Well, it, it, it's been nice about it. I love Devon. I know you do, yeah. And I'm so used to the, the spot we're going to. Yes, you know it like the back of your hand, don't you? And uh, the hotel. It's lovely. You love it, don't you? Yeah. hotel, which is really lovely. Yeah. And uh, we, we, we've been going there for years, you know, with the Jared. Yeah. Well, we discovered it many years ago. We always went to that area on holiday as a family when we were kids. Yes. But we'd stay in a caravan park or um, we'd rent a house, wouldn't we? Or That's something right. like that. And then, I think it was about mid the mid-1980s, we found out that this hotel was being built, didn't we? Yes. And we went and had a walk up there, I remember. Yes. And I remember Dad saying, oh, this looks nice. Yes. And then once you started going to Devon, without me and Sarah or without me or you know we'd grown up or what have you yeah you then started going to that hotel with dad didn't you uh, yes. yes um Lovely. and then Sarah came as well and then and I've been as there as yes. well and then and the full board is marvelous because the uh, well we went, we went half board actually because we used to have lunch out wherever we were so we'd have breakfast and dinner lovely and uh, the food was absolutely Fabulous. And it's always been good, hasn't it? Yes. The, the food there, well, clearly they've probably changed chefs over the years and what yeah. have you, but it's but always been... The standard been is wonderful. An excellent, excellent standard. It's called Stoke Lodge Hotel in a little village called Stoke Fleming, which is just outside of Dartmouth, Dartmouth and not too far from Kingsbridge. And of course you've also got Both. the award-winning beach called Blackpool Sands. Yes, and we've got... Just around the corner. Get the whole area to visit. Which it's a nice. beautiful area, and the, and the hotel itself has got both a heated indoor pool and an outdoor pool. Yes. Which, of course, if you get the lovely weather like we've got at the moment, and hopefully we will do in four weeks' time, yes, we could very well be going in the outdoor pool. Yes, and there's a sauna and a jacuzzi. Lovely. It's a very comfortable family-run hotel. So, in fact, you would you need to go anywhere really if you've got everything. If you've got the weather, two minutes from the beach, just a little drive down to the beach, or you could walk down. Yeah. And they do a rather nice gin and tonic as well. Oh yes, we'll have that any time. <laughs> well, at any hour's happy hour on holiday, isn't it? Yes. It doesn't matter what time. And that's only four weeks away. And the, 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 the beach is gorgeous. And, and of course, the, on the beach there's the cafe. There's every, all the facilities on the, right on the beach, isn't it? Yeah. And of course, because we're going in four weeks' time, that's also the day we go to Devon is your birthday. Yes. So, so we'll have to get a nice cake as well. 
Mm. I think. What do you what do you say? How about them apples? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the sun's coming out today, which is lovely. to be an having our moment on the bed and yes you can see I've been to the hairdressers looking a bit like Goldilocks at the moment which my hairdresser loves to do for me but anyway yes super ready for the little break now so everything's in place I can't do any more so I should be off for a well-earned rest but there will be a, another video next Sunday, slightly shorter one, but I'm just going to do a little video that will have the Invisible Chef in, who's done a lovely meal for you to see next week. Plus, I'm going to do a little pre-holiday review of the island that I'm going to, which is Menorca, and I've heard of at least nine or ten very good picturesque beaches that will be really nice to go and have a look at. Hopefully, I get to see some if not all of those but I'm going to have a little pre-holiday outlook as to what I'm likely to see on my holiday and then I shall be back in more real time if you like the following Sunday when hopefully I'll have a lovely holiday vlog of Menorca to show you. So I'm going to sign off a bit early today because I'm a bit cupid, quite frankly, and I've still got a few little bits and pieces to do, but I shall sign off now and I hope you all have a wonderful week. Thank you for joining me on this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And until next week, stay safe, stay in the boat, keep doing all things good. And I look forward to seeing you next week, same time, same place. Until then, take care. Bye.